Hi, in this video I'm going to show you all the details on how to train a single label classification model after you uploaded and labeled your images. Firstly, as I showed before, to train a single label classification model, click Train Single Label Classification. Here you can set the model name and the training time. If you switch to advanced view, you can uh, set a few more parameters. The images that you selected for creating this model will be split into train and validation sets. Here you can set the percentage of how many images will be allocated to the validation set. You can also set the learning rate, which determines uh, how fast the model weights change during each training step, and the batch size, which determines how many images the model sees during each training step. Here you can see the MS estimated number of training steps that are going to be performed given the training time you selected. Here you can also see the estimated uh, time to calculate so-called bottleneck features. This step is done on a GPU and therefore it will be included into your monthly training uh, allocation time limit. Uh, on the other hand, over image pre-processing steps are done on a CPU and therefore they will not be included into your monthly training uh, allocation uh, time limit. Once you set all the parameters, click start to start training. Here you can track the training progress. If you would like to cancel the training and delete the model, click here. Once the training is complete, click view training statistics to see the results. As explained before, the results are split into the train and validation tabs. In the train tab, you can see the label count and the performance on the images that uh, were used during the training. While in the validation tab, you can see the label count and the performance on the images that were not used during the training. The performance statistics is divided into two parts. Global statistics, that shows the performance on the whole dataset, and per class statistics, that shows performance on each class separately. In the basic view, the global statistics are the weighted averages of uh, per class statistics. The weights are the image count for each class. Probably the most intuitive performance measure is the accuracy. However, many scientists argue that accuracy is not a good performance measure in some cases, especially when the number of images for each class in your dataset is imbalanced. Therefore, we provide uh, three other basic statistics measures, uh, precision, recall, and F1. You can see the definitions of each uh, of these measures by clicking on the name of the statistic. If you would like to see the actual predictions on, on images in your dataset, click Show Predictions. Here you can see the predicted labels for each image and the predicted scores for each label. The labels are sorted according to the predicted score. The ground truth label shown here on the lower left corner of the image. If the predicted label with the highest score matches uh, the ground truth label, then the prediction is considered to be correct. You can filter out to show only correct predictions or only the incorrect ones. If you would like to download those predictions, click download predictions button. This will download a zip file that contains uh, resized images the ground truth uh, labels of your images, the prediction scores, and a readme file. What I still haven't mentioned is that here you can see the time it took to train the model, as well as the time when the best model was saved. We choose the best model according to the classification error on the validation set. If you switch to the advanced view, you can see even more performance statistics. 
Firstly, you can see the advanced parameters that you have set before the training, as well as you can see the validation curves. The learning curves show how the accuracy and cross entropy loss uh, has changed during the training for train and validation sets. What you can also see in the learning curves is the time point when the best model was saved. For the simplicity, I said before that we choose the best model according to the validation error, but actually the type of the error that we consider is the cross entropy loss. So here the model had the lowest cross entropy loss. The other performance measures that you can see in the advanced view is the aforementioned cross entropy loss, where lower values are better, and Matthew's correlation coefficient which is shown as percentage. In the advanced view, we also show three types of averages for precision recall and F1. The micro-average, the macro-average, and weighted average. In the basic view, we only showed the weighted average. In this example, all the averages have the same values, but this is not always the case. Finally, we show the confusion matrix. The confusion matrix shows how often images with one label are classified as another label. In the confusion matrix, the rows are the ground truth labels and the columns are the predicted labels. So for example, this cell shows that 10% of images with bolitos were classified as chanterelle. After you're done analyzing your model's performance, you can start making predictions on a completely new set of images that might not even be labeled before. To do this inside the platform, just click make a new prediction here, or select the model from the menu and click make a new prediction here. Select the images where they are stored on your PC and click open. As before, the predicted labels are sorted according to the predicted score. However, this time we don't have the ground truth label. Therefore, all the predictions are colored with the same color. You can download the predictions in JSON format, or you can download the grouped predictions where images are grouped according to the predicted label. Alternatively, you can make predictions with your model using REST API servers. For this, you will need the API token, which you can see here on the user profile page, uh, as well as project ID, which you can see here, and uh, the model name, which you can find here. For more info on how to use the REST API service, check out uh, our user guide. So this is all I wanted to share about training a single label classification model using Synthesize.ai platform. Thanks for watching.